So I'm an artist. So I have lots of pixels with me on, my, on me. I hope you're having fun. I think fun is a very important component in our everyday life. So today, I would like to talk to you about designing magical moment with everyday things. As an entertainer, working in the entertainment industry, I'm fond of storytelling. Stories can move you, make you cry, make you laugh, or even get scared. I normally work on screen, so anything that I can animate on the screen digitally, I can make them laugh, cry, and get scared. The challenge is, how can I make this kind of storytelling using everyday things? When I joined Cary University, students and I started exploring this possibility of how we can use everyday things, things that we own at home, at school, at work, and making them having fun so that we can have enjoyable life. Let me show you an example, which is umbrella. Why? Because Tokyo, we are entering rainy season, and therefore, we need to do something about it. What do you do? Use umbrellas. When the rain is over, umbrellas are quite useless. As a kid, if you remember, your mother says, make sure you bring back the umbrella. Maybe it's going to rain tomorrow morning. As a kid, you don't want to carry them around, so what do you do? As a boy, I use it as a baseball bat, practicing baseball. This continues on even if you become an adult, a businessman, a lead businessman. In Tokyo, waiting for the train to come, do you notice people what, do, what they do? Golf. Yes, that's right, playing golf. <laughs> Observing something interesting is a very important act. So swinging, it seems to be a natural act when the umbrella is not in use. So that idea is taken to innovate a normally, normal umbrella into something magical. First, you have to master three important things. Switch it on and then swing. You have to master three swings. Small, medium, and large. Get it? Now, it's time for you to be an entertainer to entertain yourself, entertain your friends. By combining what you learned, by combining different swings. And it will create a magical moment of sound effects. Ordinary umbrella transformed into extraordinary umbrella. You can use it as umbrella, of course, right? Let me show another example of our attempt. When, imagine that we're working very late at night, or studying very late at night, very stressed, tired. Imagine. Now, you want to relax for a moment, although you have to continue on. So just focus on the shadow area, because at late at night, you use lights. Where there's lights, there's shadows. Take a close look of a shadow area. You might some notice something very intriguing. Yes, there are creatures living in there. They run around, they wave your ha their hands so that they can grab your attention. It's time for you to relax for a short period of time. Reach over, interact with them, have fun. Five seconds of fun in everyday life enriches your everyday life stress. Look at these kids. They're motivated, engaged, addicted. They keep doing this forever. Very simple idea, very powerful in our everyday life. So, as a professor at KO Media Design, I also have interest in how to inspire and stimulate students so that they can keep generating these innovative ideas for everyday life and making change of everyday life. So we take them out of a boring, conventional classroom experience to some, some way that's unconventional. Not always, but sometimes. So we take them out to, by the pool. And the lecturer has to swim inside the pool, doing lecturing and performing, while the students listen to the lecturer. So if you want to apply for a faculty member at KO, please make sure you can swim. 
We also encourage students so that they can build things, not just thinking. But we encourage them to come up with ideas, immediately build, start building. It's called Build to Think, and we are fond of Build to Think ideas. Once you get the pro paper prototype, then it's time for you to act. That's when the storytelling component comes in. Stories can assess whether your idea can become a meaningful role in everyday life. It is important that you check whether your idea is not just a simple idea to make people laugh, but something that's meaningful. If you assess that it is meaningful, we keep building prototypes. The last component is, of course, a magical component that needs to be embedded so that ordinary things transform into a magical device, electronics. Going through this process, let me show you a few interesting examples. The first one is called Popapi. It's a greeting card. So I have a greeting card here, what you see up here. Now, instead of opening up and read the message, I'm going to use microwave oven. I hope you have this at home, because that's something you must have. And I hope we can say 20 seconds and set go. Now, while we're waiting it to be cooked, and something magical is actually happening inside the microwave oven, as you can probably expect. So what do you think it's going to be? Now, five, four, three, two, one. Aha, it's ready. So please guess what we're going to have. It is a three-dimensional pop-up card. Ah. So, what, what did we learn? Something unexpected, surprise. This unexpectedness is a key component in designing a magical moment of fun. So, we learned many things. Last component that we need to add another layer to complete the story of designing magical moment is about affection or emotion. How can we bring things to life by adding emotion. This is an example called Tabby. It's a lamp that you use it at home on the floor. But it's furry, as you can tell. In fact, it's not only furry, but it also has a tail. <laughs> yes, it is like a pet, and therefore, it actually breezes by blowing and shrinking, and it cycles. Depending on the mood, it breezes faster or slower. You interact, it becomes very happy. On the other hand, if you're very into something and keep ignoring it, it may decide to go to sleep. How? By shrinking and turn off its light. Now, as you can see, having this affective component creates something special, a relationship between us human and things that we own. In a materialistic world today, we tend to just keep purchasing things and throw them away. I think in the 21st century, where we need to be planet-friendly, we need to be careful. And one way to have something very special about the relationship between things that you own is to have attachment. If you attach to things, you don't throw them away. I think this affective component is quite powerful. Today, we have a special prototype that's brought into this event outside of this auditorium called Sound Gardening. Please experience yourself by interacting with a bunch of flowers. Those plants are interactive and give you surprise and a magical moment of fun. I hope you enjoy it. My final project, which is a brand new project which we are about to release so that you can actually use the service to your friends, to your families, is a project called Bouquet. Bouquet as in bouquet of flowers. When do you purchase a bouquet of flowers? Yes, to celebrate someone, thank someone to your friend, maybe a loved one, family. Instead of all purchasing a full bouquet of flowers yourself and give it to the person, we are in 21st century. Social media, 
Yes, friends network. Yet let's use social graph to make it happen. Everyone on the social graph will be contributing small mini bouquet to design and attach message. Collectively, the florist will design a full bouquet like this. So the bouquet of flower is going to have a special meaning. It's a bond between people and people. And what we have here, a florist delivering an actual bouquet of flowers, which, is, which matches with this image. So a tangible things is really powerful, connecting things to us as well as people and people through things. So please, it is your turn to design a magical moment of fun using everyday things. And lastly, since we have this bouquet of flowers on behalf of the entire KO team who helped me doing this, to appreciate um, our esteemed TEDx Tokyo producer, Mr. Patrick Newell. So Patrick. <laughs> For you, sir. Thanks for your visit. Thank you very much.